I was laying in bed around 11 o'clock. Because of Facebook, I saw that there were some live videos of, a, of fires happening in Napa. Cole came home shortly after that and was telling me stories of like the crazy wind and the smoke in the air. We had no idea really at that time just how fast it was moving. We're hearing stories of fires happening all over the county. The wind started getting stronger. We started hearing the explosions of transformers. And then, you know, things are progressively getting a little bit more scary and real. A few minutes later, the power goes out and the wind was howling. It was just to the point where you couldn't talk over it. It was that loud. The Nixle alert came through that the fire had jumped 101 at Hopper, which was about a mile from our house. Coffee Park. I was able to text my mom, evacuating. The wind is crazy and, you know, you're constantly hearing these pop, 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 and everything happens in slow motion. The wind and the, the ash, and it, it was so intense. The fire makes its own weather. And we were in the middle of that. So leaving, driving away, you're like, I, I knew, I knew that, I, that the house was not going to be there when we came back. And I'm just screaming the whole time, like, my house is gone, my house is gone, my house is like, it's going to be gone. driving in for the first time and it's it's it just hits you it's just like holy shit and you realize it's not just me every single one of these houses has a family that is going through the exact same thing as you and we were there the first day so we get in with with all of our equipment our you know masks and gloves and sifting tools we had made a map of the house and outlined all the, the different objects that we were going to look for. So we had a lot of help, a lot of family and friends there come with us who were digging through stuff in the house and we had laid out a tarp on the driveway and they, anything, anything that was recognizable as an object they would bring out and put on the tarp. So that was the objective. It was um, recover what we could and in a way get some closure. The, the community and our community in particular, how, how it's come together, it's been amazing. It's been um, almost unfathomable and, and, and humbling to the point of tears, really, of every single person that you've touched in your life in some way, shape, or form, or even friends of those types of people who you've never known or met before, or talked to before, are all coming out of the woodwork trying to, to help. My family took in not just us that night. For about a week and a half, two weeks, we had between 12 and 16 people here. It was a weird mix of joy and tragedy. It was like, the world is burning around us, but damn it, we're together and this is great.